Hi my friends, here I am again. It's been a while and <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to share but I just thought I'd pop in and say hello. So uh, I just got this before I started. What a ride we're on. What an incredible journey life is. So uh, I hope you're doing better on your journey. You feel that <clears throat> you feel more inner peace and you can feel more love for yourself and the world around you. Uh, yeah, and, I, and I, I hope for you that you are having more fun because living a life without fun is really, really a drag. So, <clears throat> as you know from the videos I've made, uh, my own life has not been uh, an easy one and I don't think it has for anyone. Uh, I've, it, in one sense you can say I lost two children because they left and they never came back. I have, <laughs> uh, with my simple mind, I can think, <clears throat> I can be uh, uh, joyful that I actually had four children, so I still have contact with two of them, but two never came back. They just left and uh, that was it. So, and it's been a long time now. So sometimes, <clears throat> I can sit and, and cry about it, but I feel that um, as time goes by, I really am, uh, I'm, see this situation, as well as many other situations in my life, is forcing me either to just become in, inc incredibly unhappy or to go deeper into love, go deeper into peace. And so <clears throat> I feel the same with different challenges and usually it's people around me uh, where I can, I can think to myself, what a strange, <laughs> what a strange path they are on and if only I could change it and really people don't want to be taken off their path and that's just the way it is. So instead of getting irritated and annoyed, to just let it go. As I've shared so many times in my videos, just let it go. And in one sense, it can feel like you don't care. And really, maybe that is what we need to do, just not care. Just not, we can care for the person who has maybe left us or who's living in a, in a very strange way. We can care for them and feel love for them, but really we should not care about which path they choose because <clears throat> in our human mind in our simple the way in our consciousness which is very limited really the understanding that we have uh, about how life works and why things are as they are in that part of our mind uh, um, we have to not care just not care just let it go uh, and because we simply cannot understand why it is as it is. But on a deep level, in our deep, deep inner self, <clears throat> we know that these people are doing exactly what they came to do. And in a sense, it has nothing to do with me. And seen <laughs> uh, with, the, with the deep eyes of our soul, they are also an aspect of me because we're all one so uh, yeah to make it to make life uh, not only bearable but also really enjoyable we need to have a good um, a good ability to let go and to let be to let people be on their paths and to not need to understand it and to remind ourselves that on a deep level 
we know why this is all happening. We just can't see it right now. So, um, so that's that's the process I feel that I'm in more and more. That to just um, really relax in life, and to when I feel very sad about something, usually it's more sadness than anger. I feel some people are carrying carrying around a lot of anger, repressed anger, and I feel in me it's more sadness. Just this, this sadness that imagine that we're living on this planet and there could be so much love and there isn't. On a surface level that not much love is being expressed <clears throat> and that can really sadden me and the fact that children just have left my life saddens me. But uh, So the way of letting go is to allow the sadness to come the anger, whatever it is, allow it to be there, allow the tears to flow and then just feel how it, evapor it evaporates and I can even sit and laugh shortly after, I can just laugh because, uh, because I know and as I've mentioned before <laughs> that this is what is happening on earth is really all like a big theatre and we all have different roles and we're doing we're playing our role <laughs> very beautifully although it doesn't seem very beautiful often we're doing what we came to do because we are all we have all asked to go through a lot of learning and a lot of releasing and when things in our lives are very painful and very difficult it brings up some very very deep very difficult emotions and uh, why do we want this? Why did we choose this? Well because we want to release these emotions. So <clears throat> humanity has been in this in incredibly dark place. All this darkness has been going on on earth and this time that we are in which is the most I think important time for this planet and really I think for all of co the cosmos. This is a period of intense cleansing and the way the earth cleanses itself is through these natural disasters, uh, wars, but also through each human being who um, allows themselves to release these old emotions. It's incredibly important. So my wish for these videos is to help you and to encourage you. As I've said so many times, just be you. If you feel an emotion come to the surface, do not suppress it, do not push it down, just let it come. Because underneath the joyful, the joyful little you is waiting. So every time we do this, every time we allow ourselves to feel these very difficult, very painful emotions, we have lifted the earth to a higher vibration. That's how powerful it is. We, we, with our human mind we think this is, I mean this is stupid just because I've been sitting here crying for the last five minutes. How can that change the earth? But it does. It does. It's incredibly powerful. Because those tears you just cried, or that anger you just expressed, might have been there for thousands of years. Who knows? It, 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 it usually is something very, very old. That's been, it's a hurt that's been in you for so long, and now you've let it go. You've just released it. And underneath is the pure, joyful, giggly child. Just a sec. So, uh, yeah, just coming back to what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, the most powerful thing you can do is to be yourself and to allow the emotions that arise within you 
to be released because that way you are you are taking off the falseness which all this pain really is it's a false self that we have been identifying with and we have living it been living in all this pain because the energy from all these suppressed repressed emotions all that energy has been in our energy system so we've been in this very very low vibration and so it's been um, really um, it's been coloring us or changing us to someone different than who we really are so uh, yeah whenever you can in your life give yourself time to release these old emotions and as I also talked about your physical health your mental health uh, your whole life will be affected in a positive way because of course when you take all this heaviness off you uh, you lift your vibration everything works better so everything becomes more light more loving more simple more joyful uh, and more fun so we start to enjoy ourselves and what happens also when we connect to this deeper place and we allow ourselves to become this true self that we are and you we feel the joy we feel it coming up uh, like this fountain it's coming up from within so that when we hear about things around us like wars and people who are very unkind or uh, things that are happening in nature, pollution, whatever it might be, it, is, does, it does not pull us down in the same way. And also we will hear less about these things because we are moving into a higher vibration where these things are not, actually do not exist. So this sounds very strange, but that, that is because although we're living on the same planet, we humans are living in different realities. And in the low vibrations, there is a lot of war, there's a lot of friction, there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of heaviness, there's a lot of sickness. There's, people are not uh, clear about who they are and, uh, and their power. So, uh, and as we in that low, low vibration as we realize what's going on and that uh, what we're experiencing that is so painful really is not us it's really in a way an illusion it's it's just um, a temporary very painful place we are in and that we can lift ourselves out of it if we like like we we're swimming in this big stormy ocean and we can just swim to the shore and get out <laughs> I mean the shore the shore is waiting there and at the shore the Sun is shining it's peaceful people are enjoying themselves and so that is really just a little another little um, image of the awakening process we think this stormy ocean is all there is and we're just trying to keep <laughs> keep ourselves up uh, on the surface of the water and, and not drown and suddenly we turn our head and we realize well the shore's just there and I can actually swim to the shore and get out of this stormy ocean and just lie there and relax on the shore and there that's what happens when we release the old stuff uh, we change because we're stepping out of all this heaviness and old stuff and not only stepping out of it we're actually releasing it through us and that's where the courage comes in that we dare to feel these old emotions to cry them out or to feel the rage or whatever it is to feel the emotions this is a service that we're doing for the earth and for humanity so we're not only pulling ourselves out of them but we're actually feeling them and releasing them and that way we automatically raise our vibration and then we can see that the 
the walls in a way they're not there anymore and people are starting to be kind and we can see people are looking more healthy around us and more joyful because we have changed we've moved to a higher vibration so this is what is happening on earth and uh, right there where you are in your life although it can seem very insignificant it is very very significant and you actually change your reality with the way you treat yourself and the way you uh, uh, the way you um, manage your emotional life so uh, all is well, we are on our way, and we are immensely powerful. So this was a little short video uh, to wish you a happy new year, and just, just sending my love to you. So take care my friend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.